Hi Cancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your December Christmas love and romance messages. So, um, apparently you have been really nice this year. I asked Santa, what I did was take off my hat and I said, Santa, what has Cancer been up to? Have they been on the naughty list or on the nice list? So what I did was flip it, caught it, and on the side it landed on it determined whether you were naughty or nice. Obviously, if you could, as you could see, it was on the nice. So you are on the nice list this year. You've been so good, so good that I know a lot of people have been taking advantage of your love, your your sweetness, your your kindness, and because of that, Santa has something special for you. So that's the message I got for you. Santa has something special for you. So if you've been going through crazy things, it's because it was for you to realize that you were worth so much more to get rid of that nasty, yucky people that do not deserve you, to deserve your kindness, your sweetness, your, your queen of cups or king of cups energy, right? Yep, you're a nice person. You deserve to be with a, a, a person who is just like you. Okay, sometimes opposites attract. And guess what? We Santa sends naughty people in our past so that we can um, toughen up a little bit. So we can know who to be nice and naughty to when the energy presents itself, right? All right, so let's get some cards here. Cancer. Ooh, we have getting to know each other along with give your relationship a chance. You see that? Mm. So we're going to start with getting to know each other. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to another, your bond deepens. You will get to know someone on a whole nother different level um, because you're communicating. You're having that one-on-one, -on -one, that, that soulful communication. You're all about getting down to, you know, love business the emotion and all that that the caring the nurturing like what do you need me to do in order for you to feel good instead of saying that say start asking yourself what do i need to do to make me feel good so that the person who's with me knows that i deserve to be feeling good to be treating me good then we have give your relationship a chance it says work on your partnership some of you need to work on your relationship a little bit by getting to know one another Okay, maybe communicating a little bit more. If it's been a little rocky, I feel like Spirit is saying maybe it's time for you guys to have some alone time. Where there's not a lot of heads, a lot of people involved, friends, family, whatever, society. It's just you guys to mend things that have been broken. Okay, so let's start with these cards here. Cancer, please. Messages for Cancer. Wow. We have date dating. You see that? Someone looks like, it kind of seems like someone could be dating right now. If you're single or maybe you just became single. You will be dating. Look at those two cups. It represents two of cups for me. So my, you might be meeting a soulmate. Okay, you could be meeting a soulmate, and maybe you're having relationship issues. If you are, maybe you're taking time out, and you are probably getting to know someone new. You see what I mean? Probably left a relationship to to finally start dating, freeing yourself. Um, Maybe meeting someone who's as nice as you. <laughs> Woo! I caught that. I caught that. My elbow did, actually. Then we have the friendship card here. It's all about that friendship, right? Within the relationship. Starting giving each other that friendship vibration where you're like, Feel free to tell me anything you want. Like it, it's important to get to know each other by pretending like or knowing that you guys are you have that friendship relationship, right? Friends into lovers or whatever the case may be. I definitely feel like um, 
you will be meeting someone who you can bear your soul to. You know what I mean? Without having to worry if you're not pleasing them enough or whatever the case may be. I definitely feel like you're going to be meeting someone who's worth, who's going to be blessed to have you in their life versus the person who could have maybe taken advantage of your presence and your love probably walked all over you in the past and because you were nice and you handled it you're going to be getting something better and as i said that look at the two cards that came out there's something better this is why you this is why you had to release your ex or this is why you had to break up with that asshole or whatever because there's something better and because there's something better you will be dating and getting to know each other you you see how that you see how that works and you wonder if if you're ever going to get with that one person or if you're ever going to love again well yeah if you believe it's all in your belief system if you tell each other, oh, I'm never going to find love and blah, blah, blah. Guess what? You're attracting that shit and it ain't going to come to you. You're going to keep bumping into those heartbreakers or whatever. Whether you're male or female. But if you believe you deserve love and you deserve someone who is just as good hearted as you are, you're going to attract that same vibration. All right. So let's get some love and sexual messages. Or actually the sexual messages. For cancer... Cancer, oh, right off the bat, we have the King of Cups. Could be dealing with another Cancer. This is the King of Cups. It kind of seems like the person who's sitting beneath him. He's like patting her on the head, you know. I feel like the vibration I'm getting from this, it's like you will be meeting someone who's on the soul level soul level as you and who won't be looking down upon you they will be looking on the side of you they will treat you as their equal someone who's just as loving and caring and nurturing as you you just got to believe it we have the queen of pentacles reversed see this is you getting out of a relationship some of you are getting out of a relationship because it was toxic it was not right there was cheating there was lying there was deceit Yeah, we have the Emperor reversed. The Emperor reversed is someone who wants the cake and eats it too. Someone who wants to have it all, who can get very cocky, big-headed, who can walk all over people like a doormat, who's a player, who lies, who constantly lies to get what they want. This is the energy you're releasing. Why? Because there's something better, just like the card stated. Neva fire reversed. You see, you are definitely letting go. I, I feel like it wasn't you who let go. I feel like they're the ones that tried to walk out on you. See, the person walking down the hall, they decided to leave. So you're going to come, you're going to, you're going to do that clap back where you're like going to be getting in your most sexiest mode, whether you're male or female, joining the gym and doing whatever, making them regret the day they left you. Okay, making them beg for you to come back. And then you're just going to be like, mm -mm. I finally got a, a sense of freedom. And someone has showed me how much I'm worth and they, that I realize that I deserve better. You're not going to want to lower your standards anymore. And they're going to be like, oh, damn, I screwed up. Yeah, well, guess what? They get their karma. We have the Knave of Cups reverse. You see more more water energy cancer scorpio pisces someone who takes advantage of someone because there could be a little they could have a lot of heart this is someone who um could have just used you for sex and didn't really care about you they acted like they didn't care about you i feel like you were dealing with an asshole damn no wonder why like you had to leave this energy but guess what something better comes in just like the card says because we have the knight of cups this is like that, you see, it's funny because it's the King of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Okay, this is like your knight in shining armor, armor coming into the rescue. Damn, you don't, you, it's like you don't get a chance to be single because somebody else comes and snatches you up, right? <laughs> they snatch you up, they make you yours, they show you a good time. And it kind of makes you sad. It makes you sad because you're like, 
wow, I had someone, but they didn't treat me well, or they didn't know my worth, or I was blind enough to see that I deserve better. And when you get a dose of the medicine that you deserve to have, you know, I call it the happy pill, you're not going to want to go back down to the one that's been making you sick. You know what I mean? You want to keep living that happy life. And that's exactly what I see what's going to happen. You're going to find someone who's deserving of you. And we have the key card. Ah! It says new beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. Oh my God. You see that? You hold the key to unlock the most beautiful future, whatever you've ever had. Love life. You have the key. Just let go. Open that gate. Lock up the past. Zip it, lock it, throw it in your pocket. Whatever you got to do. Put the past behind you. Let go of that asshole. Date. Date and have fun. Feel, get a taste of your freedom. Why? Because there's something better. There is something better. And this new beginnings here is waiting for you. Waiting for you. For you to snap into your power and know your worth. Let's get a Lover's Oracle for Cancer. Well, one came out. Let's get another one. Cancer, please. Cancer. Okay. Wow, we have three. So, I'm just checking to see if it's still going. All right, so the first one that came out is Reflection. It's time to reflect. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay, then we have Only Time Will Tell. If you're meant to be with that person or whatever, only time will tell. Or if you're ever going to find love again, only time will tell. It says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourselves in. Yeah, you could be going through some emotional turmoil, Cancer. And it, these cards are here to remind you, okay, to remind you that you deserve better. Close your eyes and know that you you deserve to be happy. Don't let anybody try to take that away from you. Especially someone who's not deserving of your love. Someone who's taking advantage of your love. Lock that shit up. Throw away the key and don't look back. There's new beginnings and something better for you. All right, Cancer, this was your December Christmas love and romance messages. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And um, good job because you were nice. You are going to get something really, really good. <laughs> All right, Cancer, bye. Love you.